Police chief here tells me the last time there was a murder in Yale was 15 years ago. They tell me this scene was a brutal one. It all unfolded here in this house behind me. Investigators say they have a pretty good idea on what the motive is, but they are not releasing any details just yet. But they say this was premeditated, and they believe those suspects came here planning to kill Mara and Paul Skinner. Horror at the Skinner home. Mara and Paul Skinner both in bed, only to be awakened by two masked men with knives stabbing them. The Skinners both fight their way out of bed as the suspects continue to attack. They both fought very, very uh, aggressively to, to save both their lives. The suspects had broken into the home through a back window around midnight. Investigators say the suspects were both wearing Halloween masks. One was the face of an old man. As the brutal attack was unfolding, two of the couple's four children were home asleep in the basement. Police say it was ultimately Paul Skinner who was able to fight both suspects down the stairs and outside the house. Most of the Skinner's stab wounds are from the waist up. Both of them stabbed multiple times. Mara Skinner stabbed more than 20 times. The father was able to uh, uh, fight him down the stairways and out the door that uh, he, I believe, saved his wife's life. And the son heard the, a loud noise coming down the stairways. And uh, when he came up to check, it uh, was after the father was able to get him uh, out of the house and then he came in and collapsed. The son tried to render aid to his father, but police say it was too late. Paul Skinner had died. Investigators say this was not only premeditated, but that the suspects were targeting the Skinners. This morning, both suspects were arrested, found in two separate houses, about six miles from the Skinners' home. The chief tells me that both of those suspects were arrested without incident, and right now the detectives are questioning both of them. As for Mara Skinner, she remains hospitalized in stable condition. Reporting live in Yale, Anu Prakash, Channel 7 Action News, back to you. Anu, have police found the murder weapon, the knives in this case? They believe they have, Joanne. They discovered two knives inside the home, both of which they believe were used in this attack. At this point, they're not sure if the suspects brought them here, if there were knives that were found in the home, but they do believe they have those two uh, murder weapons. Ugh, such a tragedy. A new Prakash reporting. Thank you very much. Vic. All right, we'll turn now to the people coping with the tragic and shocking event that happened in their neighborhood this morning. Action News reporter Michael Rosenfeld is also live in Yale with that part of the story. Michael? Hey, Vic, yeah, small town, very tight-knit neighborhood. Everybody knows the Skinners here at the corner home at Main Street and McCall. This is an area best known as being the baloney capital of the world, and not for something like this. She's the longtime social studies and computers teacher at Yale Junior High. She's a great gal, too, very friendly, outgoing. They're very... Um they're very outgoing in the community, and they do a lot of things for the school system, and yeah, it's, it's a bad thing. He helps reconfigure manufacturing facilities, and neighbors say he travels extensively for work. Paul Skinner, you couldn't ask for a nicer guy. Um, he's just, he would take his shirt off his back for you. He's just a great guy. The couple, Paul and Mara Skinner, have two kids of their own and two they'd adopted from Mara's sister, who neighbors say passed away. Two of the kids, including 17-year-old Tia, were in the basement when the attack happened. She's nice. She is outgoing. She talks to a lot of people. She's pretty popular. Small town Yale this morning reeling from the news of the area's first murder in some 15 years. The victims, by all accounts, the perfect family. I've lived next door for her for a very long time. She's very nice, very polite. It's very sad. Again, Mara Skinner is expected to be okay. She's recovering at Port Huron Hospital in stable condition right now and recovering again from more than 20 stab wounds and a punctured lung. We're live in Yale. Michael Rosenfield, Channel 7 Action News. Michael, I'm curious, from the people that you talked to, the neighbors and friends, did they mention anything, any possible enemies, people have any problems with the family? Now, everybody knew them pretty well, and we asked police if they'd been called here before. They said no. This is, by all accounts, seems to be a very solid family. All right. Thank you so much. Michael Rosenfield reporting live in Yale. And remember to